than the eye can see. Place the stars in the sky, make the moon shine brightly. Woke you up with the sun shining through your window. Sing you a Saturday. Hello guys, this is Brandon Griggs from Professionally Raw here on YouTube and on Facebook. Uh, it's been a while I haven't made a video. Well, I've made two figures videos that I've posted to the channel. However, I haven't sat down and spoke to you guys in a while. Uh, something that God has really, Jesus' as Father has really pressed on my heart is in regards to, you know, Christian vegans. Uh, I'm in a group on Facebook called... Uh, Call Christian Vegans is a great uh, group. Uh, we have a lot of discussions in regards to uh, the kingdom of God, uh, how to elevate the body of Christ, also with some things about in regards to veganism or whatever. Uh, but some things that uh, God has pressed on my heart that I felt He's led me to speak about uh, is prioritizing veganism and Christian our Christian walk or whatever and what I mean, mean by that is is when we look in the Bible as Christians what has what has God called us to do what what is our main focus what 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 do we supposed to do what does he tell the disciples what did Jesus tell the disciples uh, prior to him uh, ascending up into heaven he said go out in the world and make disciples and I believe that Sometimes as vegans, we can get caught up so much, so caught up in animal rights, and uh, you know, uh, have, we have so much passion for animals, which is not a bad thing. It's, it's a great thing. However, we for, we tend to lose sight of of our first calling as Christians, and that's to make disciples. That's to worship God and uh, in His holiness. And I've seen comments that. You know, people get frustrated when they go to church because the church doesn't uphold the uh, the vegan lifestyle or they go to Christian functions and they have uh, meat and things like that and some people get disgusted. But my thing, I will caution you to leave in churches just because of that reason because if you have a pastor that's speaking truth of the Bible, speaking of the real Jesus and the God of the Bible, and is not preaching his prosperity gospel, and just really that you know that he is a man of God, and that he is teaching you the right things in regards to what the Bible has called us to do, I would say stay there, because compared to that, potlucks that have meat and people not agreeing with you being a vegan, that's small compared to the truth that's being spoken into in that church so if you find yourself leaving churches because of that reason I would say you're at fault because the thing is we should find churches where we could we, we could gather together with uh, the body of Christ to uplift Jesus Christ and not and we're not specifically uplifting Jesus Christ when we're talking about animal rights we're basically just lifting up a is also a worldly view when it comes to animal rights because if you look at the history of veganism with the first founder uh, and the uh, first famous person that was a vegan that person was an atheist he was an occult he was into the goth his second wife her name was Mary she wrote the uh, first Frankenstein she was in golf she was a uh, atheist as well so the roots from veganism or the first person that the world saw as a vegan the first famous person as a vegan I can't think of his name right now right now I have it written down how but they were not Christians or whatever so when the vegan movement was moved it wasn't moved in a uh, from a biblical standpoint it wasn't moved from uh, the person wasn't moved by Christ like if you look at my video I was moved into this by Christ Jesus because of the calling he has on my life and that's to make disciples of men to go out and minister to people in the world as the Holy Spirit leads and guides me so I would say to my Christian vegans I want to encourage you guys don't give up you know your fight for animal rights or, or passion 
for animal love or, or your fight against animal cruelty. I'm not making this video to say that. But my biggest concern is that this veganism can become your idol if you allow it to. I want to say that again, if you allow it, if you if you if you allow it, veganism can become your idol. Why? Because you will then put that before ministering to people. You will then go into the Bible. As I see, to defend veganism in the Bible, we're not to go into the Bible to defend veganism. That's not what God, that's not what Jesus called us to do. You're supposed to go into the Bible to get fed from the Holy Spirit as they give, if Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit gives you understanding, you're supposed to go in the Bible to receive a word from God that will help you be better at ministering to people when you go out into the world. I mean, this is on my heart heavily, and it's been on my heart for the past couple of weeks or whatever, because I see posts, I see people talking about it from uh, Instagram, from uh, Facebook, and, and, and YouTube, and I see these things, and, and it's troubling to me because I'm saying, wait, we as Christian vegans supposed to be putting the word of God out there. Not animal rights. God takes care of animals. He's going to take care of them. He sees what man is doing by killing them in slaughterhouses. He sees all of these things. He's. I'm not saying he's okay with that and he's satisfied with that. But what I am saying is this. You cannot talk to people about love of animals and really get them to come to that if they don't have the understanding of God's heart. If a man does never understands the heart of God, the heart of Jesus, and he's not led by the Holy Spirit in that direction, you can really capture that per individual to understand the real pain that animals feel. And you and non-Christians will say, well, I feel the pain for animals, and I'm not Christian, but you really don't know that true feeling that God has. Because when God presses on your heart, where you feel that true feeling is totally different from what you just feel through your emotions. And, and my Christian, my Christian vegans will understand that. The thing is, is this. God wants us to go into the world and minister to the world. Because if you spend your whole time fighting for animal rights and on the corner holding up signs and doing all these things, and you say, God wants me to do this, and then you sit back and you think, who have I reached and brought to God? How is, how, how is me pushing animal rights going to draw men to God? And that's our main objective as Christians, to draw men to Jesus Christ, to tell them how, about the love of Jesus Christ, how he died for their sins, and how they should seek him and, and with their whole heart and repent which means turn from their sins and, and turn to God and, and, and seek Him with their whole heart so they might be saved. And, and that's our main objective as Christian vegans. And like I said, I want to repeat it again. I'm not saying give, it up, give up your passion for animals, your love for animals. I'm not saying that in any way. But what I am saying, seek God what He wants you to do and really look at it. If you say, well, animal rights is what God wants me to do, then I would ask you this. Look at what you're doing in animal rights and see, look at what you're doing in animal rights and ask yourself, okay, how is this drawing men to God when I don't even mention him in animal rights? Or when I do mention him, I'm just saying, well, this is how God wants us to eat. Or you search the Bible to find if Jesus is, was a vegan or things like that. It's clearly shown in Genesis 1, 26 through 31. This is how God wanted us to eat. But also in the Bible, it also says that God made it okay for people to eat meat. It's not a sin or whatever. And it's the reason why God allowed, allowed us to eat these things. But people will not understand that unless they don't have God because if they people don't have God like many uh, non-Christian vegans they think the God of the Bible is an evil God 
And they think the God of the Bible it, it hates animals. I mean, speak to them. It's not, I mean, and I see a lot of Christian vegans, they attack other Christians because other Christians don't agree with them eating meat, but then they don't say anything to the non-Christian vegans that attack their God. So you're attacking the people that love God, and you say nothing to the people that hate God because they agree with your animal rights, and I think that's wrong, and I think it's at fault. And, I, and that's not what God has called us to do. But look, man, look, guys, I hope you guys find this video uh, very inspirational, uh, very informative. I hope I, I pray to God, to Jesus, that that you got some out of it, that, that you, you kind of wake up and see, like, okay, I mean, he is right or whatever. And, you know, that you seek to, to seek God, you know, to seek God. You know, I'm only a man. I could just give you the message that God has pressed up on my heart or whatever, and I could do it, you know, led by the Holy Spirit. I believe the Holy Spirit led me or whatever. I believe the Holy Spirit spoke uh, as I made this video. And, man, hey, I got a lot of love for you guys or whatever. Uh, like I said, God didn't show me animal suffering when he called me to veganism. He didn't. He didn't call me. He, he didn't show me that. He said, I have something for you to do for me and I need you to hear more clearly and I need your body clean I need your temple clean and that's what's pushing me animal rights is not driving me but however I have a whole new respect for it when I seen earthlings once I become plain vegan once I know my initial calling for while I'm in this lifestyle and, and once I seen earthlings and, and food matters and all these videos I mean, my, my passion for these, uh, for plant-based foods, raw vegan foods, and my passion for animals has increased, but I have not forgot my true calling, and that's to draw me in unto Jesus Christ. Thank you. Much love to you guys, man. Continue to enjoy the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, for those that subscribe, like this video, uh, comment, let me know what you think about it, uh, your views on what I've just said in this video, uh, even if you're non-Christian. Just comment or whatever. Uh, if you want to know anything about anything in the Bible, if you're non vegan, or just have, I mean, non Christian, uh, non Christian vegan, just hit me up in the comments. I mean, my thing is just do everything in respect. If you don't, if you don't like my God, I mean, I mean, just do everything in respect. And that's all I ask. But, but I'll holler at you guys later. Y'all take it easy. This is Brandon Grizz from Professionally Raw here on YouTube and Facebook. And go like me on IG, Instagram at BRG Professions. Peace. about